Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Solange Dancer. If you don't know me, you know me now, y'all. Make sure that like, comment, and subscribe because why not? If you new here, hey, and if you not new and you still not subscribed, what are you doing? Anyways, y'all, in today's video, as you can see by the title, we're gonna get into it today, okay? We gonna talk about it. Let's really talk about it, okay? We gonna talk about how to balance three plus income, life of a content creator, things like that. Because baby, I don't know why the world thinks this is easy, but baby, this is not easy. This is this is not easy. This is actually um a little difficult. It's like, nah, but y'all, we're going to get into it. Okay, first things first. I want to talk about me personally. This video is going to be really from my experience as a content creator. My content is not all the way up there, clearly. Like, by the time you're watching this video, I think I got 2,000 subscribers. But I've been getting paid off TikTok for two years now. I've been getting paid, or maybe longer than two years, honestly. But I really don't use it anymore. But I get paid from TikTok. I do get paid from YouTube and where else do I get paid from? That's it. I mean, just because you don't get paid on certain platforms does not mean you're not a content creator. It's like you're creating content, so you're a content creator. I don't care what nobody talk about. You don't have to be the most known to be a content creator, literally. Like, if you're making content and that's what you're doing for a living and you're trying to get up there, you're a content creator, period. We gonna speak that energy into existence. We're manifesting it. You gonna get paid from being a content creator. But anyways, y'all, I do do other content. I make nail content for my nail page. I do hair content sometimes every now and then. So it's like, you know, people have different kinds of content and here I am doing another video for y'all. I'm really talking really fast. Maybe I need to slow down a little bit. But okay, so we're gonna talk about content creating and how it is not as easy as people think and how people like me balance it. Now y'all, I am 22 years old. I am a nail tech that lives in Florida. So I do have my own nail business. I do work as a server at nine to five. I am also a dancer from time to time and I do content. So my life is very, very, very extremely difficult sometimes. And it's when it comes to balancing income and things like that, you have to definitely be financially, what's the word? Financially mature. Financially mature. You need to be financially mature. I don't even know if that's the word, but that's the word I'm gonna use. You have to be able to not spend every last dime on dumb things. A lot of content creators, they spend majority of their money on trying to look the best of the best driving all these cars that they may or may not be able to afford want to get these luxury apartments that they may or may not be able to afford they they shop at target and y'all know how what i mean stuff like you know you just do certain stuff to make your content look good but at the same time you may not have the financial maturity by that i mean be able to save some of your checks and have an actual savings have an actual goal things like that so we gonna really just talk about it okay i feel like with content and being financially mature you definitely need to set up a savings account and have a bank account for your personal or what you spend and have a bank account of what you want to save like literally because literally saving money is not as easy when you're making it making it making it quick because it's like okay i'm just gonna go ahead and spend it because i know i'm about to get paid on the 21st again so it's like i'm gonna just go ahead and spend it me baby i don't do that because like i said i'm very very extremely financially mature so i don't spend i always save majority of my money i do have multiple streams of income so what i do with with my money personally my nine to five job my dancing job my nails i split it up by percentages every time i get paid i distribute a certain amount from each literally y'all it might seem like a lot but it works i distribute a certain amount percentage wise so 50 percent of everything i get paid goes straight to my savings 30 percent may go straight to my bills 
The rest of the percent may go to my, me personally because I already don't shock and things like that. But I feel like with having multiple streams of income, a lot of what social media does not tell you is that it's hard. It's hard to sit here and be financially mature when you're young and you're making money off content. You know, things like that. It's stuff that I wish I knew when I first started that I know now that I'm trying to help y'all with. You know what I'm saying? Another thing with content creating that they don't tell you is you need to literally record everything like you may think your life is boring and oh people don't care about this people don't care about that trust me people care record every little thing that you do i'm telling you like i used to think like that and i still do sometimes but i need to stop thinking like that people care people want to see what you're gonna do today a self-care day things like that or whatever kind of vlogs that you do just stay consistent with it because it is it's gonna be times where your views is not reaching what it needs to reach. It's gonna be some months or some weeks or some days where your videos is not hitting what it needs to hit, like subscriber-wise or even views-wise, watch hours, things like that. So when it, and I say record everything, I literally mean record everything. Like I just got this idea that I wanted to record today and do how to balance three incomes. Like only the people that want to watch this is going to want to watch this if you are not into watching videos like this you may watch my other vlogs like things like that life of a content creator it's it's definitely like i said i'm still in the process of getting up there i'm still in the process of being known you know when i do go to work i live in florida but when i go to work in baltimore there are a lot of girls that walk up to me and be like oh you're salons you're salons like honestly it motivates me because it's like you really know me like i know you watch me but seeing me in person now you know me know me like you really can recognize me from literally walking in the club like that's the kind of stuff that i like that motivates me even more once people start recognizing you trust me you want to keep going because it's only a matter of time like literally to where you're reaching 10,000 subscribers 500k a million like things like that like where y'all think diera started where do you think kwan started where do you think kai started things like that y'all like i'm telling you i'm really telling you, you really gotta just keep going now balancing it it is hard trying to do content when you're not making that much money off of it yet and you're still living a regular life like i said i have a nine to five so it is not as easy i don't recommend quitting your job if you have bills to pay and things like that like i don't recommend doing that if your content at the moment is not paying off i feel like you need to be able to try your hardest to balance both you can't live off of content if you're not making enough money off of content to pay your bills you know what i'm saying so once you reach that point by all means quit your nine to five job but at the time being if you're not there yet i would say just ease into it before then now i have had thoughts of going 100 percent full time with content and like not working a nine to five but at the same time i don't think i'm personally ready for that i don't think my views my youtube is where it needs to be yet as far as quitting and once i get to that point then it'd be a different story but right now i'm not there if you feel like you there and you feel like you don't need your nine to five then hey by all means do what you need to do but i just wanted to have like a very transparent moment with y'all because balancing is is not easy on top of that y'all editing editing some people may be able to get through editing extremely fast me it take me days to edit because i can't sit there and just watch my life like over and over and over like i'm like bro i just talked about this in this video and this video like things like that y'all so when i say editing may be like one of the hardest parts for me personally because I don't want to sit there and edit but at the same time I'm not paying anyone because I'm not there yet to edit my videos as well so editing it plays a big part I personally I edit my videos on CapCut now a lot of people have all these other um these other softwares that they use to edit but I just use CapCut because that's all I know right now I'm literally recording on my phone y'all I don't even have a camera yet now I could have been bought a camera I just didn't buy a camera yet because I want to wait until I'm more consistent before I buy a camera. But yeah, being young, like people tend to forget 
you're young it is okay like everyone don't have to do content if this is something that you feel like is too draining for you you don't have to do it like content is it's cool and all but it, it has its pros and cons you may be like this is too much for me like i don't even like talking i don't like recording myself i don't like doing this like this is not something you want to do now if, if you try it and this is something that you want to do like by all means like i recommend do it because why not but if this is something that you're still iffy about still try it until you decide if this is something that you want to do because it is it's a lot it's a lot that goes into it when you have to watch your back once you get all the way up there you got to watch your back of who knows you who's following you who's here for the good and who's here for the evil like some people have evil eyes and some people are really watching you some people are praying on your downfall things like that so yeah i feel like i really am just chatting I really am just chatting, but I feel like I have no one to talk to about the stuff that I want to talk about when it comes to content, so I'm talking to y'all. But if you guys are lacking, like, motivation when it comes to recording content, I say what you need to do is literally write it down. Plan out what you want to do this day. On Sunday, I want to do a Sunday reset. On this day, I want to do that. Speaking of that, like, literally, that just came to my head. I'm going to do another Sunday reset on Sunday, even though I already did one. But why not do it again? You know, some someone new is going to watch your video. You know what I'm saying? Plan out what you want to do. For Vlogmas, y'all, it was my first Vlogmas. I was extremely consistent because I planned out literally from December 1st to December 31st, even though it was way after Christmas. I planned out what I want to do in every single day. And you know what I did? Writing it down, I did every single thing that I wrote down. So I recommend when it comes to content, literally... Write down what you want to do. Write down what videos you want. Write down when you want it out by, when you want to edit, things like that. Plan out your videos, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, like, it's, I'm still new to content. I'm not going to lie. I've been doing it for two years, but I'm just now being consistent with it. So y'all may look at me like, this girl talking like she had experience and she only got 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, I only have a little bit of subscribers, but I've been getting paid from it and I have been getting paid from TikTok as well. For a while now so i just recommend you guys do your best when it comes to content and balance like balance is a very important and yeah i know this video is a little bit short if you guys give me more topics that you want me to talk about i would definitely talk about them just leave them in the comments if you new here please leave a comment please and say i'm new i just want to know where you guys are coming from like how you guys you know come into my page and my channel and things like that but yeah I, if you're new here thank you so much and if you're not new and you're still not subscribed make sure you subscribe right now literally but yeah guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next video make sure you watch all my vlogs make sure you definitely watch my last vlog i mean it's not a vlog make sure you watch my last video it's definitely giving like a motivational how to manifest your goals and things like that and that video will definitely be posted before this one so make sure you hit that like comment and subscribe remember my name is Solange and if you're new here hey bye bye